Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you in this episode is how to use the descending trend line to go ahead and enter into some bullish positions. So stay tuned. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at some things uh, regarding um, some charts and some uh, technicals. Now, um, as I look into these uh, charts and technicals, we're going to look at uh, descending trend lines. Now, before we do, one of the reasons we're talking about that is we have a technical course coming out uh, on TC2000. It's the master class. So this master class is uh, focused on this TC2000 platform that uh, you saw there. Uh, it's kind of the platform that I use uh, most frequently. It's it's my main used platform. Uh, you can check that out at our website at tradersfly.com and then go ahead and go to the master class. It's really all about um, uh, honing in and focusing on uh, a lot of the software concepts in this course. And um, uh, when you look at the software about how to do the layouts, how to do the charts, how to draw on the charts, the watch list, the alerts, and then uh, towards the end of the course, I'll talk about kind of my personal setup and how I use the, um, uh, the, the, um, the software itself as far as digging into my layout, how I have my scanner set up, uh, my grids, my views, and, and many other things. So check that out. There's going to be a link in the description, and you can get it on our website at tradersfly.com. And it'll route you to our uh, courses page at Rise to Learn. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this descending uh, trend lines and how to look at them. I'm going to show you with the TLTs. So basically, when we look at, and let's do it a little bit more bars so you can see it. When we look at uh, the a line or just a trend and the stock is going down, so let's say it's continuing to move in this downward pattern or downward direction, what we can do is we can take a trend line from where it's changed directions. So here's where it changed directions. It was going up and then it switched directions. Here's another one, it went up and switched directions. So we take these few points, there's another one, there's another one, and we try and connect them as best as possible. So as we do this, what you'll notice is as I go through like this, you can see, boom, it's going down, down, down. So every time that stock tries to go up, it's struggling and it rejects, it tries to go up, it's struggling, it tries to go up, struggling, goes up, struggling, and then eventually we break out. Now, pair this together with volume, uh, price action, the market conditions, uh, the way it, it, it breaks out, the pattern, how long it's been doing it. So pair all of that together and this could give you a nice entry point or opportunity. Now, I'm just talking about trend lines here as a basic level, but you gotta include and think about all the other factors that go along with it. But here, you can see it broke that trend line that was resistance, so there's our resistance. Some people look at this as a channel, so you could say, hey, there's my kind of channel, it's been going down in, in this way, and then it breaks out, and that could be a nice entry opportunity. So that's one example right there. So we use that as a descending trend line and then boom, it broke out. Now you could use it, there's different levels or angles. So there's a slower angle. Did it happen and did it break out? No, uh, in this in that this trend line it didn't, but uh, other trend lines it may. So it's not full proof, it's not 100%, but it just gives you an idea. Here's an example with Boeing. So I'll show you a couple of different trend lines. Let me go to maybe a two or three day just to give you an idea. So you saw those trend lines right there. So here we've got, uh, again, another one. So you've got one from the highs to a lot of the other problem areas there. I could also create one, maybe if, if you consider some of these uh, pops a little bit of an outlier, you could start from the highs of the next one and kind of do it this way. So there's kind of multiple trend lines because this one hits a few extra points. There's many more points that are hit, but the breakout is, is still very similar. So there's your, your breakout entry point. You've got volume, wide price spread, boom, it's off, it's going. Um, same thing here on this next one. It's declining, 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 and where is it breaking? There it is. Not all the breakouts are going to be strong and powerful. This one was a little bit weaker. There wasn't as much wide price spread. There wasn't as much volume. It already broke out in the past over here, but the point is, is Hey, I'm, I'm looking at the trend lines to show you how you could use the trend lines. So there it is. There's another breakout there. Stock went up and so on. Okay, let's do another one. Here's, here's a Tesla example. Everybody loves to talk about Tesla. So recently we've had this descending trend line and you could consider it, is it a triangle pattern? Is it this pattern? Is it that? It doesn't really matter. Here's the trend line 
Okay, do we have wide price spread? Do we have a uh, bullish volume? Do we have action? Is it working? Is it moving? Is the market bullish? And your entry point right there, boom, it went in and then you continue moving higher. Now, recently, right now, what's going on? Same concept, you could think about it. Okay, well, we're selling off. We've got a bit of a problem. Okay, we've rolled over. Here's my descending trend line. Okay, I wouldn't get into this. If you're thinking about trend lines, of course, you could nibble, you could uh, sell, put verticals against it. Uh, you, could, you could do a lot of different things and still be bullish on it. But if you're looking from a descending trend line perspective, here's your descending trend line. Okay, and you can wait till this breaks that descending trend line and then get into that position a little bit uh, later once it breaks that descending trend line. So uh, that's another approach. Okay, I'm going to do another one here is UAL. And there it is. Here's a descending trend line. As you can see, there's the breakout went up, failed, of course, and, and pulling back. But you should be taking some profits into strength. Um, another one just earlier on descending trend line. There was the breakout continued and it moved quite well. And really, this is uh, for those of you that are into it, A to B, B to C, C to D kind of pattern there uh, to give you an idea. Um, but there's that, that other trend line and there's your kind of two entry spots or points. So anyways, uh, those are a few examples from um, these descending trend lines and how you can use them. Um, if you look at, let's say, US dollar Canadian dollar fund, which I track, and here you can see, again, another one could be, you know, it's bearish, 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 bearish. And if we break above that, that's when you might look to get a little more bullish into it. Uh, right here after it breaks that. But for now, we've been kind of going down. Um, there's others here as well. Here was the decline and then boom, it skyrocketed and exploded to the upside. So you can see how this really pans out and works. You can do it on a shorter term. You can do it on a longer term. Just really just depends on what you're looking at. Not all of them will have it, but here's a one on Costco. Some are more violent. Here's a, just show you an example. Here's one that's less violent you can see okay we're kind of going in this path so there's there's another there's one right there or you could say hey it started to pick up some speed and then really it picked up some speed so when they're violent um that could have a little more fake outs so even though in this case it's just oversold boom broke out went a little higher had another one smaller one and then again, next like higher. And for those of you tracking it, there's your A to B, B to C, and C to D pattern that's starting to get completed, which may get up into the 350. So anyway, that's kind of the way you could use these and look at these. Uh, yes, there's many more patterns, more indicators, more ways to look at it, more things that you should look at, including volume, uh, wide price spread, the behavior, the market, conditions, many other factors. But this is a starting point um, for those of you that are interested in descending trend lines and how you could use them at a basic level. If you're interested in getting the course, uh, the course is not all about technicals. It's really about learning to use the software that I just showed you. So that way you could flip through, you know, um, these keys, these different layouts and setups that I have uh, to show you, hey, how do I set up these different watch lists, uh, these different vertical grid views, uh, set up the alerts and it shows you how to use that software and that's what it's really all about and then towards the end I share with you how I have kind of my scanners my screens and, and all that set up as far as just this software is concerned so anyways um, check that out if you're interested it's on um, tradersfly.com uh, it's coming soon there's going to be a slight little uh, discount and promotion on it uh, but um, you know, uh, it's it's about five hours of training and uh, detailed material on the software and probably 80, 80, 90 percent of software. And uh, the other um, uh, little bit is is kind of my my stuff and how I use the software. So thanks for joining me in this video. Check out the link in the description. Check out our website. Grab some freebies on that website. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. And thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the week ahead and I will see you next time.